are in the lovely Richmond Park. Oh, see if I can find my seat. Oh. oh, welcome. My name's Anthony. I'm a photographer and filmmaker. Um, today I wanted to do a review of this amazing Fuji F, well, 200 F2 lens. Um, I made this purchase almost a year ago, so I've been using it for about 11 months. Um, it's been an incredible lens. I wanted to give you my thoughts on it. Um, it's not a highly technical review, but it may help inform you if you're wanting to make a big investment because it costs a lot of money. Uh, is it worth the investment or not, depending on what you, you do with your photography. A uh, bit of background, I've been doing photography for many, many years. Back in the film days when I first started photography, studied it, and then I started a business probably about 18 years ago um, and did lots of weddings, portraiture, corporate work. And I now do less weddings. So I do my freelance work still, but I uh, work in a part-time role for a private school doing photography and video as a media tech. And I also work two days a week for a church doing uh, as a, a visual media producer doing photography and video as well. Um, so I use Fuji gear a lot uh, every week. Um, I use this lens more than I thought I would when I initially um, decided on purchasing this lens it was because about a year and a half ago I decided to take up my childhood dream again of doing more wildlife photography um, so hence I made this big investment I've got the Fuji 100-400 as well which is a great lens but I knew that I wanted something that could work well in lower light and just enable me to get some high quality images uh, for wildlife but also obviously for the role I have as a, a media tech at a school doing sport photography um, doing conference photography, uh, doing concert photography for the church and also um, working in auditoriums with low light, um, keynote speakers. This lens is really fantastic for that, for that use. So I'm going to give you a quick lowdown on the lens. Um, this is the, the lens hood, um, nice and big and chunky. It comes off with this little button here. It's a large lens hood, blocks the light out. It's got a nice velvety inside to stop the light reflecting. It's got a fastening button there. I actually knocked this one off on an iron fence when I was walking through an iron, a gap in an iron gate. Uh, but thankfully it managed to glue back on again with super glue. Maybe they could make it out of metal, but it was fairly good wax. So it came off, but it seems to be working okay now. Another great thing about this uh, lens is the, the foot. It's got an Arca Swiss compatible foot, which is absolute genius. They should do that on all uh, big lenses, I think, have an Arca Swiss compatible uh, foot because you can pop, pop it straight into your tripod without worrying about losing tripod plates and all that kind of business. I have the, um, the lens coat cover on this. So behind this cover is a very white lens. The coating is designed for these big lenses. They have usually white or cream coating like the Canon or Nikon ones to reflect the heat because if you're out in a hot desert doing photography uh, and all the heat comes in to the optics, it could shift things a bit. So that's why the big lenses are made of this white material to reflect the heat. By the way, the lens coat uh, I use on this one, um, I've taken off one strip here just so I can turn the aperture ring. Otherwise, if you have the extra bit of material here, it kind of, it's hard to turn your aperture. A little tip there if you're going to invest in the lens coat, which is superb, by the way. really like the lens coat for this. Just search lens coat Fuji 200mm f2 and uh, you should find that online. You have your focus dial there, nice and grippy. I've been using a bit of manual focus today, which is pretty good actually, nice and precise. It's got a large throw though, so you can't do quick uh, focus pulls for video. But nice if you're doing subtle movements with the manual focus as well. So your autofocus button, if your subject's beyond five meters, it's better to put that on there. So it'll snap quicker to, to the subject. Image stabilizer. Image stabilizer is superb. You can handheld this if you're not doing it all day. If you're doing it all day, your shoulders are going to hurt. Best to use a monopod or a tripod. But if you're using wildlife photography, going on walks and you just pull your camera up occasionally, quite happily roam around handheld with this. And your set buttons for the barrel buttons here, which go all around the barrel. There we are. So you can have those set as a focus lock button or an autofocus button, or as I like to use quite a lot, is the preset button. So you can program a focus distance using the set button here. And then when you press this button, it will snap back to it. So if you're looking at a subject 
beyond a certain point and you want to snap back to your previous focus distance you can program him using this button here program the focus distance in and it will snap back very useful for bird photography on branches that kind of thing definitely attach your strap to this part of the lens to say putting pressure on the camera mount that will help uh, prolong the life of your camera I use Pete design pretty pretty good design for uh, this kind of lens we can slip it over through the attachment and then I use the one on the back here on the X-T3 here's a converter it slips off optically this converter is really high quality but I did have one issue on my first one of these I had to send it back actually because uh, there was some problem with the contact in the converter and it lost connection with the camera. Thankfully Fuji replaced it very quickly and everything is fine now. Focus on this lens is very quick, it's great for sports, I've been using it for netball and hockey, I've used it for basketball and I'm very impressed with it. On continuous focus, especially on the Fuji, uh, the latest X-T3, uh, great combination for sport photography and obviously for wildlife as well if you've got fast moving wildlife. So I guess the question is, is this lens worth the investment if you're just doing wildlife photography? That's a big question really. Obviously the 100-400mm lens would be an obvious choice. This is a great lens actually, uh, very adaptable, obviously it's a zoom lens. I'm not a big fan of zoom lenses, I like primes. Obviously the longer reach of this lens is more suited to bird photography, smaller uh, wildlife. Um, this lens it's fantastic in low light if you're doing wildlife photography, uh, bigger uh, wildlife like deer or foxes. I've been photographing foxes with this lens, walking through the woods, and it's done an incredible job. Um, the question is really, uh, if you're really serious about wildlife photography and you use Fuji gear, the answer would be to have both, but it's not going to be realistic for everyone. It's just a big investment. Uh, for me, I knew it had a multi-purpose as well as wildlife. I'd use it for other things as well. Uh, so I took, took the plunge, I've not regretted it. Um, if you're a hobbyist, then maybe this is enough for you until Fuji bring something else out. I kind of hope Fuji will actually build something of this standard, this quality, uh, for like a 400mm, maybe 500 but 400mm prime would be an incredible uh, lens, maybe an f4, so it's kind of okay to carry. Or if they can produce a high enough quality put this down here, a high enough quality con a two times converter for this lens then I would probably take this lens out only rather than taking the zoom um, but for now I'll be shooting with both of these lenses for wildlife photography. hope this um, reviews helped you in terms of informing you about the investment whether it's worth it or not. For me it's been definitely worth it because I've been using it for more than just wildlife um, but it may not be uh, reachable for yourself. That's a good lens, the 100-400 is a great all round lens this is astonishingly good. Um, well done Fuji, please bring out a 400mm f4 or design a two times converter of the same quality and I'll be a happy man. Thank you. Let's go and do some wildlife photography.